Okay, I was reading Seasons of the Mind again. When I first read it, I skipped um, because I was reading the book with you and I didn't want to read the whole book because I wanted to honor the authors of the book and make sure that um, if you wanted to buy the book, you'll have something new to read. But um, I was inspired to do a Ho'oponopono in action over the drought. Uh, in Oahu, Bogota, Colombia, and um, Mexico City. And so when I was going through Seasons of the Mind again, I came across, I believe Morna actually wrote this article. It's signed M.S. as in Morna Simeona. And um, because the authors, they just put their initials. So I believe Morna wrote this particular article and it has her voice, how she would talk because she's very aware and insightful and has access to other dimensions. And so I wanted to give you a different perspective. Um, and if you feel inspired, please do Ho'oponopono over the droughts that we're experiencing currently. Okay, this article is entitled The Drought, and one of my basic one Ho'oponopono classes in New Jersey, I was asked by an associate, a native of Jamaica, if I would personally work on the drought problem that our country was experiencing. I suggested instead that we work on the problem as a class project. The students really took to the project. In addition to the lack of water, the economy and the general health of the people surfaced as problems too. There was high unemployment, rampant disease, and difficulty in purchasing food. Underlying the basis of these problems, however, was the lack of rain. And so I love that she and the students came up with other issues that they could do Ho'oponopono over as well, because when I was thinking of the issues that are going on um, in Oahu, Mexico City, and Bogota. I was just thinking of the drought, but I'm sure the drought affects everything. In Mexico City, people weren't flushing their toilets, and I can see there being a sanitation issue, and with sanitation issues, there might be diseases, and so I did not take that into account when I did the whole Ho'oponopono in action, and I'm just going to take it into account right now. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Over the sanitation issues. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And if in your mind this comes up later in your day or just later in general, please do Ho'oponopono as you are inspired. For several hours, students gathered information about Jamaica for possible causative factors of the drought. Included in the data were several types of illicit and illegal activities. Then the basic task of the class was to identify all negative and hurtful memories, thought forms, and vibrations that might be imbued and impressed in the people, economy, land, animals, plants, water, sky, and every molecule and atom of the country. Wow. Now, I had never thought to do Ho'oponopono not only over the people in reference to the hurtful memories, thought forms, and vibrations, but the economy, land, animals, plants, water, sky, and every single molecule and atom. Wow. So I'm loving that uh, this is inclusive because maybe if things are included on the front end, uh, maybe there wouldn't be as much, not, not the word is kind of like residual, um, but you know, layers, there, there are layers sometimes. So maybe if this is addressed at up front, I don't have enough anecdotal evidence, but hopefully I will get some so I can share with you. Wow, wow, wow. So we can do Ho'oponopono not only over people, but things such as the economy, land, animals, plants, water, sky, and molecules and atoms. 
Okay, going back to the book, however, before applying the whole Ponopono process to cleanse Jamaica of all the negative vibrations in the data collected by the students, they petitioned to source to manifest a soft mist followed by a soft, gentle rain over Jamaica because they did not want to create flooding conditions. 24 hours after the class had done Ho'oponopono, the soft mist appeared, followed by the soft, then gentle rain over Jamaica. Was the ending of the drought in Jamaica a miracle? No. What produced the rain was an understanding of the triune of life by the students in the class and the relationship between themselves and the cosmos. Through an understanding of their self-identity, the students were able to be in touch with Jamaica's identity and to set her free from all the hurtful thought forms and negative vibrations created by man. You too can set yourself free through an understanding of who you are. Signed, MS. Okay, hopefully that has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please write them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you're enjoying your day or evening wherever you're at in the world. Bye.